Hey guys, what's going on today? I'm gonna to be showing you how you can make a dance panel in Roblox Studio. It's super simple guys. As you can see right here, I have my dance panel. I only have three dance animations on it right now because I'm a terrible animator. But if I click one, you can see my terrible animations. <laughs> but yeah, it's super simple guys. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so to start, we're going to need a few things. First off, we're going to need our UI. We have that right here. If you want to use this UI in your game, there is a model to it in the description. When it comes, this frame right here is going to be in the scrolling frame. You just want to want to open that up and we're going to put that frame inside of replicated storage. If you guys want to make your own custom UI, it's super simple. It's literally just a frame with a scrolling frame inside of it. Honestly, you do not even need the frame. All you need is a scrolling frame and another frame with a text label and a button on it that you'll put inside of replicated storage. But yeah, if you want to use this UI right here, you can find that in the description. You're just going to want to put that inside of starter UI. So now we're going to add a script, a local script into starter player scripts. First, I'm going to grab the replicated storage. Next up, I'm going to grab the player. Now we're just going to wait a second just to make sure everything loads in. Now we're going to grab the UI and the panel UI. Now we're going to get our scrolling frame. All right, and now we're going to set up a table. Inside of this table, we are going to keep all of our dances. We're going to set the index as the name. So I want my first dance to be named hands up. And the variable is going to be the ID of that animation. So this is my animation ID. And if you want to keep going, you can add as many as you'd like. My next one is going to be spin and I'll just paste in my ID and like I said you guys can make this list as long as you'd like doesn't really matter to loop through this table and set everything up now we're gonna create a frame for each dance All right guys, so what we just did there was we created our frame. We cloned it from replicated storage. We set its parent equal to the scrolling frame and we set its text equal to the dance index. Now we're going to find out when the frame is clicked and set that up to a function. All right guys, what this is doing right here is when the new frames button is clicked, we're going to create a new animation. We're going to name it, set up its ID. And over here, we are looping through all of the animations that are playing on the humanoid. We're making sure that it's a part of our dances table. This way we don't stop any walking or jumping animations. The only animations that we want to stop are our dances. This way we don't have two animations playing at once. And now over here, we're going to load the animation onto the humanoid and play the animation. So great job. I hope this was super helpful. Hope you guys learned something. And if you have any questions or any other video ideas, make sure to leave them in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching.